All right, I'm just going to do a quick video. I'm pretty sure everyone already saw all of the Capcom Pro Tour stuff if they're on Twitter, um, but I figured I'll just make a quick video about it. Capcom announced, it looks like last night, uh, that they are changing rules involving leverless controllers, so all button boxes, hit boxes, that type of stuff. The rule change is if up and down directions are inputted at the same time, both inputs must be maintained or both inputs must be rejected. This basically means that we're going to see a little bit difference when it comes to like shortcuts. This mainly affects like guile players, so you're not going to get like instant flash kicks anymore. Um, and it does kind of make it feel more true to like a controller, um, to, to like a fight stick, because I mean, obviously you can't hold up and down instead of getting some weird shenanigans with up and down, it just, it's neutral, just like left and right. Hitbox has already did the same exact thing with left and right. It will feel a little bit weird because a lot of people treat the up button in their mind as like a jump button. So it was nice that up would always beat out down. So like no matter what buttons you were holding, if you wanted to jump, you could hit the jump button and just jump. But now you're gonna have to let go of down. So if you wanted to jump while blocking, you're just going to have to learn to let go of that. And that will be a little bit annoying. But to say this is going to completely ruin hitboxes or anything like that, then no, there's still very much in the advantage here. Like, I play on a hitbox, I love my thing, and it's just nice knowing which inputs I have inputted, which is huge to me. <laughs> but, I mean, so this gets rid of the flash kicks. Oh, well. The, I saw this meme, <laughs> essentially, because of this, there's just a bunch of new SOCD cleaning tricks. So apparently something with fuzzy blocks, I know that they previously patched out the 639 DP input. Um, and then it also did something with critical arts and with them banning the old way of SOCD cleaning, they're, they're just back. <laughs> They just got rid of them, but now they're back. So we'll see what happens there. Um, it also makes a shortcut for 2-2 two -two inputs. So you can hold down and then tap the up button. And when you let go, it uh, inputs down. Then when you hit up, it returns to neutral. And when you let go of up, it returns back to down. So 2-2 two -two inputs are going to be way easier. People are going to find ways to have shortcuts. That's just, I mean... Box controllers are comfy and they're full of shortcuts. That's why. That's why we blame them. <laughs> I, I, I play, picked up a box controller because I used to play Smash and GameCube controller hurt my hands. <laughs> and I mean, I love like the idea of like mixing keyboard stuff with controller stuff. That's why I bought a snack box. But for people who use Brook boards and also people who use junk food arcades like the Snack Box Micro. They are already working or already have out a firmware update. So it's great to get this updated. Um, I don't know if there's any other scenes that are going to follow suit, but we'll see. I, I'm assuming th there is some difficulty with... Um, so this creates discrepancy between Evo rules and Capcom Pro Tour rules. So that's going to be interesting, and I bet... This is probably going to create a lot of just rule set shenanigans that we're going to have to deal with, and this Twitter discourse is going to happen more frequently than it already has. So um, be prepared for that, especially because Hitbox announced that, it's essentially they said, I'll just read their whole statement, please know that we empathize with all of these new concerns and uncertainty for our existing and new customers. This is still a developing situation, which we assure you has our full attention. We are confident that we will be able to provide a solution to our customers that will comply with all or any changes to rule sets. While Capcom and Street Fighter are an important part of the fighting game community, they do not resent represent the community as a whole, the larger tournament community and its leadership have already ruled many times over that the current SOCD resolutions and our controllers are appropriate for tournament play. We stand firmly by and believe in this standard, a standard that was set more than a decade ago and that is still implemented to this day. So they kind of just beat around the bush. It sounds like they will 
announce a firmware hopefully soon uh but i don't know i feel like if you're a controller manufacturer you kind of want to be you know have all your stuff tournament ready out the gate <laughs> but i understand people don't want to relearn these macros and it makes sense but i mean we Maybe we can convince Capcom, but I highly doubt it. Especially, I, I know the tar the whole controller debacles. They're just getting pushed further and further. I mean, the we have the cross up. Isn't the cross up have some legality issues in the Pro Tour as well? I'm not entirely sure, but it is nice to see something like junk food arcades are. They're programming it right now, and they're also gonna have visual indicators so it'll be much easier for tournament organizers to see what type of socd cleaning you have which brings up another point that the this is gonna be really hard to like it's gonna be really hard to enforce because a lot of capcom pro tour events are online there's no way you're realistically going to enforce this in an online environment it will be not it it shouldn't be too difficult to do it in person. Like, you just say, hey, hook up to that setup and hold down and up at the same time. See what happens. Because, I mean, let's face it, not everyone's on Twitter, especially with the state of Twitter now. So there might be a lot of tournament goers who just maybe they don't see this discussion or they just forget before they go to their next tournament. And it would suck to um, go to something like Combo Break or spend a couple hundred bucks and then you're like, oh, I didn't update my firmware and my supposedly tournament ready controller so i think we'll just have to as a community really uh let everyone know be very vocal about it especially you know locals maybe have see if there's a few people who can bring a laptop that have some of the firmwares preloaded update some people's controllers for them that help out a lot but uh, no you're not going to be able to enforce it online <laughs> I, I don't think any Capcom employees are going to want to do input reviews and going and saving replays and stuff like that. Maybe once they get to, like, top 64 or something like that, but I don't know. I do think up and down resulting in neutral does f probably feel more fair, even though up plus down equaling up definitely feels better from a hitbox player, but I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you like this discussion or other fighting game content, uh, consider dropping a like and subscribing. Bye.